Hi, my name is Sarah Fox, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about which of the works from the textbooks that we read that I felt was really important for college students to study and to discuss and learn about. It was difficult to choose at first, but then I thought which one had the most meaning to me and which had some passages that just really jumped out to me. And I decided on Margaret Fuller's Woman in the 19th Century. In my paper, I delved into one of the passages of the text and how it was still highly relevant for today. While I felt that the space for the essay was limited as far as the page numbers and how much we could get into, I really felt that I was able to flesh out the one quote that I did use and really base my paper off of that particular passage. Um, a little bit about Margaret Fuller. Um, she was one of the early feminist writers during what was known as the first wave of feminism. Now the first wave started in the 19th and 20th centuries and this focused on mostly legal inequalities. So there was a lot of women's suffrage during that era. The second wave was from the 1960s to the 1980s, and this dealt with more of cultural inequalities and gender norms and women's roles in society. Now there was a little bit of problematic in the way that they went about the second wave. So the third wave of feminism, which began in the 90s, really tried to correct some of those errors and focus on the same, some of the same issues, as well as broadening to talking about men and LGBTQA and that whole community. So Margaret Fuller wrote in the first wave. One of the more damaging things that I talk about in my essay is that the way women are portrayed in a very negative con connotation most of the time. So Fuller remarks that oftentimes if a man is performing something and he is seeming subpar or not as good as expected, he would be um, compared to a woman. Not only, not only is this harmful for men by saying that they have to be a certain way to be a real man, but it's harmful to women because you're calling our gender an insult. So naturally you can see why this is bad on both sides of the equation. Um, if being a woman is considered an insult, then obviously it seems that women would be considered inferior to men and therefore there would be no need for women's rights. So this is a very damaging issue that people still deal with and you know it starts even as a young child where kids call each other oh you fight like a girl, you hit like a girl, etc. So this is one of the modern issues is that being a woman or doing things that are considered feminine are considered an insult. So feminism seeks to destroy some of these harmful connotations that we have and Fuller writes excellently about this stuff and it's really interesting how even in her time period these were the same issues that they're talking about and that are still highly relevant for today so it's really interesting um, feminism seeks to destroy these harmful notions that being feminine is wrong or even that certain behaviors should be labeled feminine regardless of it being represented in a positive or a negative light so like if a man is expressing emotion or affection for someone and perhaps he has an affinity for romance calling him feminine that's not necessarily a feminine quality it's more of a human quality and say a woman who likes martial arts that would be that would not be considered masculine it would still be feminine because it is a woman doing it so it should be inherently feminine despite the fact that society doesn't believe that now um, Feminism seeks to tell men and women that they should think for themselves and not be governed by the ideals enforced on them by society. Margaret Fuller writes about this a lot, about thinking for yourself and talking for yourself, not just for women, but for men as well, because all of these ideals are forced upon people and they don't realize, you know, if I step outside this boundary, it's a bad thing. Margaret Fuller was basically saying in her conversations that she wrote, this is not a bad thing. Men need to seek outside these horizons, and women do too, and they both need to hold each other to the same levels of equality. I believe it's important for students to read these sorts of things so that they can have a more open mind and understand that they are not locked into these things that maybe they've grown up believing, and that if we have these younger generations working on this and working towards this, they can be more open than past generations. So I believe Margaret Fuller's Woman of the 19th Century is a very important work, and I really hope that this is one that could be more discussed in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please send me comments or messages if you have any questions. Thank you so much.